Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be opening up the General Grievous from the new Star Wars Black Series. So I had pre-ordered this. I was super excited. I pre-ordered it about, about a month or so ago. Um, and I've been super anxious waiting for it to arrive. And it arrived yesterday, so we're super excited. I didn't want to unbox it. I wanted to leave it as is. But after us going back and forth, we decided to go ahead and unbox it and show you it. So Just for you guys, so you guys can see everything about this figure. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so now we have him out of the box. We took a quick look at him before we started uh, recording again. He does feel quite flimsy. He's let's go fragile. Ahead. He, yeah, not flimsy. Yes, fragile. Thank you. Um, when I was trying to do his elbow joint, you know, a closer look, you can see how thin that is right there. So I feel like it would just snap right there in that little section. Uh, the cape, I was thinking it was Velcroed on, but it's stitched right here. So it's actually tucked in behind his helm. So let's go ahead and take off his cape. Let's get a closer look at it. It feels like it's a polyester cape. And it has the two uh, the four pockets. Can't count apparently. Four pockets for his uh, lightsaber hilts. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. I wish it was Velcro. It'd be a lot easier getting it off and on where you might snag his head. Any thoughts on the cape? No, I like the cape actually. But um, Velcro, yes. But then again, if you were to take open the cape off and on, the Velcro would kind of get... That weird flip Velcro can do sometimes. Oh yeah, where it starts to not stick. Yes, but I like it though too because the hole on top is big enough to where it can easily slip over his head. Yes. So what you do is slip it over the head and then you'll tuck it in right here underneath this little lip right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and look in the actual figure itself. The neck support, you can see it's quite thin if you can see up there under his helmet as far as you can go that way so he's not on a ball joint he does not have full rotation of his head he has up and down rotation uh, the neck does move quite a bit I see. So you can't move his head too far back. As you can see in the back right here, it has prongs that stop him from going back. At first I thought something did end up breaking, but to look at it, it's just plastic prongs that stop his head from going back. Uh, he has the shoulder joints right here. And then he has another two joints right here in the shoulder blades. He has two of them for both sets of arms. As you can see, if I can get a better look at it. There you go. They go up and down and then the joints don't really let it turn too much. So you got a, another joint here that turns his arm can turn, but not very much. You have elbow joints. No real wrist articulation at all. Not much of a swivel in the hip joints either. There we go. It was just a little tight. Like, you can't really make him turn that way. Feels very tight going one way, but you can go the other no problem. Hip joints cannot do the full split. You can go back and forth quite easily. The knee joints are very tight. There we go. But he has double jointed knees. The second joint does not seem to really want to go. He does not actually have double jointed knees. It just looks like he does. Right there is not another joint. So he does not have double jointed knees. He does have articulation in the shin, which kind of, I guess, would be his ankle. Yeah. So, and then his feet turn, but no 
real forward and back motion. It's a peg, I can tell. It's just kind of loose. But he does have articulation in his shin. Standing is actually quite difficult. He is a bit top heavy compared I feel to like his they body. Did a really good job on the, some of the details. There we go. His armor. Yes, especially with the, the battle damage he has on his armor and his face mask. His legs and stuff. I think they did a really good job. One thing I noticed just sitting next to him playing with his cape and his sabers. Um, I kind of feel like it was just meant for looks. Um, when I hold it up here, they kind of want to fall out. <laughs> I don't think that's meant to be on him like that. I kind of wish they would have the blades detachable so that way we can be able to slip it in and have the blades set aside and just have the hilt in his pocket. That would have been really nice to display too. But what I was going to say was when I first got it and was looking at it, I thought along right here and here was um, paint chipping off. But it's actually his, his actual real paint chipped off from battles. As you can see, he also has, uh, right here he was shot and it bounced off and put a chunk of hole in his leg and paint chipped off. You also have uh, metallic painting here to make it look like paint chipped off there. Cracks, scratches. His face is all battle worn. If you get a good look at his eyes, if you can focus. You can see his eyes in there. That's really neat. That is really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. His little blaster. First up we have the blaster. Focus, there we go. Really good detail on the blaster. I feel like they should, I don't know, like I understand they're only like $25, $30 for these, but I really feel like they have like this like metallic paint instead of this cheaper black metallic paint because it just it gives it an actual real cheap plastic look to it well I mean on Amazon right now Mr. General Grievous is going for about $42 yeah so but retail they sell for $25 $30 but I just just looking at it it just has this like toy gun look to it I feel like some of these figures should have a more realistic look to their guns so let's start looking at the different hilts of the lightsaber. So we have for this lightsaber, it's a, a blue a blue lightsaber. It comes with two blue sabers. My focus is just not wanting to work with me today. There we go. So here's the hilt of one saber, and each saber's hilt is different. Because a different Jedi, he was able to kill and take his lightsaber. So here's one blue, and here is the other blue. I'm actually really liking this one. This hilt looks really cool. All right, and then next we have a green. All right, green saber. I feel like this hilt looks a little bland and plain. That's basic. Yeah. All right. This one's more basic. <laughs> Here's the second green one. Yes. Sorry, if it feels like I'm questioning it, just letting you guys know, I am I am colorblind, so my wife is helping me with that part. Um, but yeah, this one, it just, like you can see some etchings in it. If it will focus. It is not focusing. I am sorry. There you go. See right there? Along the side of it, along right here, you can see there's like little etching marks of like wear. But again, all of them are all basic looking, other than this one. This one actually looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and take another look at this figure. So, also, another thing I kind of wish 
his little butt cheeks. <laughs> but another thing I wish they would have would be inside right here. Like there's plenty of room for it. Have like a translucent green plastic with his heart and stuff they had like how he had in the movies. Because underneath here was his actual organs left over from when he more formed his body into a robotic form. Because he is still a living creature that's with robotic prosthetics on him. Hence why he has flesh and eyes. And then he has a heart. It uh, looked like there was lungs and a couple other things. And this like sack thing underneath his shell. That was what Obi-Wan Kenobi shot and how he killed him in episode 3. So I wish they would have had like, because I mean you can see the huge gap right there. So I wish they could have put had like this translucent green plastic in there with that stuff in there. That would have just topped off this figure. But I think overall they did a pretty decent job. Yes. I I'm just, glad we got it. So. Alright, let's put some accessories on him. Alright. That sounds like fun. So I should put it on there. All in all, this figure, it's good. The only, the only complaints I have is that their um, joints and arms, they do feel very, what's the word, I'm, brittle. They do feel brittle and thin. Uh, arms and legs are really thin. The plastic feels very thin and the joints, they feel thin also. So I just wish they would have like fixed those a little better. So... Oh gosh. All right, so now we have his uh, his cape on, along with all the sabers in his hand. I admit it, it was a major pain to get the lightsabers in his hand. And also, if you come in right here, his wrists, they're very flimsy. So as I put it in, his wrists would like constantly be bending. And it's not like a articulation that could bend it was just literally the plastic just bending just him in general seems to be really fragile yes yeah, so if for collectors this is definitely something to get either keep in box or put them in one or two positions and display uh for like buying this for your kids or something to play with wouldn't recommend it because i give it about an hour or two before those wrists and hands will break off or his leg will break or They'll try and twist his arm and it'll snap out the articulation joints and stuff. But mainly this is more of a collector's piece because it is quite flimsy. Like I said, as I was putting in the lightsabers, his wrist was starting to really bend. I think it just looks really pretty cool just sitting there. Um, I think if I was in the position here in the near future, I would definitely be buying another one to keep it sealed in the box. But yes. It does look really magnificent standing here. So I think that's going to be awesome displaying. I mean, but thing is, sealed prices are already starting to go up. Like when we got this, we bought retail of 25 Well, with shipping and everything, we ended up paying about, what, $39, $40? Yeah. But that's with shipping and all that. Currently on Amazon, he's going for $45 before taxes and before shipping. So his price already doubled pretty much. I'm just glad I was able to get a hold of him at retail. So it will be awesome to find this in the wild. Yeah. Like hunting, but that's going to be really hard to do. But Yeah. If you guys see this, definitely swoop on it and pick it up. I, I definitely love the figure, but again, it's, it's not, not meant for playing. He's, he's very fragile. There could be some improvements, like we've said before, but... A little bit of a thicker plastic. I think overall, I think it, they did a pretty good job. So. Also, I've used a couple of different lightsabers. Oh, there's his gun. I use, I've used different lightsabers with figures, you know, putting them in. These ones are not the best. It literally looks like... If you can really get in there. Sorry, I'm, for some reason my focusing is not working at all. But it looks like they just super glued almost these the plastic on there and it's not fused into it like they used to. So yeah, for some reason they just the lightsabers were almost about to snap off as I was trying to put them in too. So maybe if you can find other lightsabers you like, you can probably add them to that too and put them in this hand. Because these look like the same hilts they use for all the rest of the uh, figure sabers. So you can probably mix mix and match the different colors from different other action figures. And I feel like, I know I mentioned it before, but if you were to put his lightsabers into the cape, I feel like it would really just, it's just for looks. Yeah. I think it would really make him clearly 
top heavy and he'll fall over because of how fragile he is. Um, but I like how they did that for detail to put it in the cape. I don't know how his real cape is, my bad. Um, but I think it'd be cool if they had two on this side and two on that side. So maybe you can try to put them in if you want to. But yeah, to. no, it was, it's like that in the movies too. He had all oh, four on his right side, oh, yeah. Okay. I just feel like it'd be cool that you'd be able to put additional in there or the same ones. Yeah. Um, it's just a shame that he's so fragile that it makes him top heavy so you can't put them in there. But that's just a cool feature that they did add to it, so. Yeah, I really feel like the legs should have been more thicker and heavier. I understand how aesthetic they want to go best movie wise, but they could have made the joints right here a lot stronger because that's the main thing that's making him top heavy because of how thin these are and how bulkier he is up top with how thin it is right here. He's very top heavy and falls forward. As you can see, we have to have his knees bent at a weird angle just to kind of have him squatting almost, just to stand up. We were trying to get him to kind of be leaning over a little bit, a little bit more in like battle mode, but he just kept falling. So. Yeah, he face planted right away. And then his sabers, everything would get bent out of the way. We had to fix his arm again. It was just a mess. It took us forever to get him just to stand like this, so. But I think overall, yeah, I'm really pleased and I'm happy that I purchased this. Yeah, I'm, I'm like... I'm happy, but I'm not. I just, I feel like with the plastic, they could have gone a little thicker, a little better. But other than that, actual looks of him, he looks amazing. The paint quality, everything about it is like perfection. I love everything about it. Just wish the plastic was a little bit thicker. Yeah. But I mean, they were trying to go for more what he looks like at the movie. Yeah. So, overall, yeah, not bad. Because I can just see right here, see how thin that is? It's snapping there. His wrists will break. And the ankle right there will break. Just, so definitely not for play. Just glad it's going to be on our shelf displayed, not yep. played with the kids. So he'll be safe. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you want to see more stuff like this, also we'll be doing some toy hunting videos soon. We um, have um, us and the kids are going to be doing the McDonald's Pokemon toys of the packs coming up. Um... What else do we have coming up? Um, uh, another Pokemon pack opening. I don't remember, but um, keep an eye out. <laughs> yes, we have some videos we already We We're going to have some more hunting videos, but we live in Texas. And I don't know if you guys, anybody's really saw the news out there. We went through a harsh freeze. It lasted over a week. Well, you know, we had power outages, pipes frozen, roads iced over. No one could leave their house. A whole, a whole entire state pretty much shut down. So we couldn't go hunting at all. But that's done. Everything's better now. So we will start doing more hunting videos for you guys. Hopefully this coming week we can start to do that again. Because right now when I went to the store today, and there was very little things available. So there, there was nothing, actually. Hopefully by next week we can start the huntings up again. Um, but definitely stay tuned because we have a lot more fun things in store. Um, we have some fun things coming in about two weeks, so it involves us driving a few hours, so please stay tuned for that, and it's going to be really fun, and we're going to have a special guest, aka Grandma. <laughs> we're going to go on a really fun adventure, and we're going to take you guys along, so... Um, yes, my uh, we're originally from California, my mom's coming to visit, and she wants to be part of the video, so we're going to have her in a few videos. So that's going to be fun. So stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of fun things coming your way over the next few weeks. And I'm glad today you were able to stumble across our General Grievous Black Series video. So with that being said, thank All right. you. All right. <laughs> see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Bye.